Okay, so this is a game called A Better World, and I like history. So basically in this game, you have a timeline here, and it has different events, like major events in history, and you can change those events. I, I, I can't choose these events, it's not it's not on my rights, but here, let me show you. So, I can say, I can choose the rise of the Inca Empire, tell them, I could say I could prepare them for a European invasion. Or I could teach them the art of ocean navigation. Um, but I'm not going to do that. See, I have a coin flip. Tails. So, tails is this one. Heads is this one. And then I get to see what happens. And you can see I, I change different things. The pink right here is what I changed. The rise of the Roman civilization. I'm going to do that now. So I can tell Rome about its internal cohesion or can encourage its policy of expansion so we can either make the Roman Rome power bigger or we can make it fall once again not my call we shall expand the Roman Empire sets out to conquer the world this can only be good it crushes Alexander the Great and Babylon it seduces China Rome is having a big big dinner and Christianity weakens the Roman Empire civil and religious war followed by the fall of the Roman Empire gosh darn it the birth of Confucius so basically this guy he uh, makes the the Chinese policies he, he like lays down the foundation of China we shall spread into the West Europe finds no interest in America and stops traveling. And the great confusion wars in Europe. No one knows what's happening in Europe. This um video was inspired to me by this guy named uh, Drew Dunell. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. But um, he makes good videos. Alright, what else can we screw with? Genghis Khan conquers the world. Okay, we can either kidnap him. Or tell them to go take over the West. I don't know why everyone wants to go West. They're wild over there. Let's do a flippy. Heads. So, we kidnap. What just changed? Genghis Kong disappears in a hunting party. China becomes the most powerful nation. Uh oh. China. The Renaissance. I like this already. First the Italians, then all of Europe. So at this point in the video, my game stopped working. Alright, so let's do this again, and I hope I won't screw it up again. See what we can screw with. I mean, make better. Or I can make farming religion, or I can discourage farming. And by me, I mean Google. Tails. Screw farming. Uh-oh. I got bad karma. The Sumerian cities were abandoned. Discovery of agriculture that happened... 10,000 years later than it should have. Uh-oh. Uh oh, crap. Well, that we're not there yet. I think I can fix it, hopefully. Um, the birth of Jesus. Google shall decide. We are going to kidnap Jesus. Jesus, the child of the prophecy, is kidnapped by a Malik king. Writing discovery. Screw up writing. We're going to make it a thing. It's either that or we're not going to make it a thing. We're going to unify all the scriptures and languages. So basically, we just made it so everyone speaks the same language. Or writes the same language, at least. Humans develop a common written language. Mankind is still ended. Early Iron Age. Unlock the secret of steel. Make the use of iron taboo. We're going to make use of Iron Taboo. Well, we're still in the Bronze Age. Oh god. Oh no. I think it ended. <laughs> uh, your timeline name. It's basically me. Really. Alright, let's try this again. You know, now that I think of it, I'm not going to do another part because, um, really, editing is hard for me as a... 15 year old and uh i'm really not that good at it but i will show commitment yeah i'll put about a part two if i get good 
reviews on this thing and I can promise you that my commitment would not be like this anymore you know half a video and then another half I'll just do one full video next time but I just want to see how this goes so um uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day